This quick tour video deals with audio editing. So let me come down here and open up my A1 track so it's much larger. And then up here on the toolbar, you can see Open Audio Editor, these faders. If I click, now I have my audio mixer. A couple things. Notice the blue line has become more prevalent. And my mouse turns into a little hand with finger. I can click, drag, and now I'm adjusting the audio. That's a very quick way to rubber band. I can add points just by clicking, drag them up and down, so on and so forth, to create fade-ins and fade-outs. I can get rid of them by dragging them above or below the track. My mouse turns into a trash can, and now they're gone. To create a quick fade-in, fade-out, I hold down my control button, mouse over the end or beginning, click, one-click fade-ins and fade-outs, just that easy. I can also hold down shift and adjust the overall volume of that track. And what's really neat is if I come here, I'll mark an in point, come to the end of that clip, mark an out point. This little button right here, record audio mix, becomes alive. And if I click on it, my play line backs up, I get a five second pre-roll, and now if I grab and fade up and fade down, you can see it creates that automated mix for me. I'll say save that, and there it is, just like that. Now what's also neat is up here in the mixer, I can choose between stereo. I can also do a surround sound mix, doing the same automated function. Click on that guy, it pre-rolls five seconds. Here we are with our front center mix, and I'll just mix that around. And you can see green and red lines being drawn to record the surround sound mix. I can also record a voiceover directly to the timeline based on my microphone inputs to my computer. And if I click here, I can insert audio effects, noise reduction, stereo echo. These are all VST plugins, and you can download VST plugins from the internet, add them to your VST folder, and increase your ability to adjust audio. So Liquid is not just a video finishing tool, it's an audio finishing tool as well. Now before we finish, I just want to show you a couple quick things. Exit out of the mixer. I've got this gap here. I want to right click. I'm going to add a linear time warp, and now I can do time warps to audio. This is music, so I shall change it to music. I'll say, let me move this up here. I'll say fit to fill to fill that gap and it automatically calculates the speed for me at 83.4%, say go, and there it is, and it's just changed the length of that audio for me. Now, one other thing very quickly, I'm just gonna right click on name, change my track height of all tracks to 26, and I wanna do music for my entire piece. So I'm just gonna highlight across the piece, I'll say mark clip, it puts in and out points across the entire length, I'll go to my smart sound editor, I think I'll choose New Age and Easy. Let's try Fireside. Double click and it plays for me. Okay, that's nice. Now notice it gave me a length of 1 minute, 50 seconds, and 13 frames. Based on those mark in, mark out points on my timeline, I'll say Add to Active Rack. Close that down. Click, drag, drop, and the music is automatically the length I need it for my entire program. So there you go. There's a quick overview of audio editing in Avid Liquid.